Well, let's bring in political analyst and author Onur Aram, who joins us now from Istanbul. Onur, how big of a decision is this? I mean, it, it's a pretty big decision, um, if for nothing else. Uh, it, it is because it's for the uh, mayorship of Istanbul that will last for five years, the biggest city in Turkey, uh, probably by far the biggest, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the best known, the, well, the most known city in, in the world uh, out of Turkey. So just by numbers, it, it's, it's a pretty big deal. But uh, as a, uh, in regards to a decision, it is a decision made solely uh, because of the, the, the way the law is, is set and the, because of the law is being practiced for uh, since I think it's since late 30s or late 60s. Talk me through that a little law. bit, Onur. Um, obviously, the AK Party said there were irregularities. You're talking about the laws that have been in place for a long time. Why has this decision been taken? What are these irregularities? Thus far, we are only we only know of one thing. We need to wait for the uh, <coughs> Supreme Election Council's uh, detailed explanation of the uh, of the uh, of the outcome and really read inputs. So thus far, the only thing that we ha we can confirm is that the Supreme Election Committee uh, that have have found some irregularities with the election officials. According to the law, it is very clear that each and every ballot box has has to have a committee called the uh, the the, uh, the box committee. The box committee members have to come from uh, government employees. If not, if there's not enough government employees to satisfy the role, then there are other things to do. Also, the what is called every committee has, has also a president. They also have to be uh, government employees. If not, there's also other ways to appoint these. Right now, uh, the, the Supreme Council has explained that the reason they're doing a re-election is because they have found out that uh, I think just about 225 uh, committee, the, the, the box committee presidents or, or chairmen are not government employees. And uh, just over 3,500 box committee members are not government employees. Now, this is strictly against the law of, of Turkish election law that's been in effect for, I think, since 60s or, or even, I think, the basis since the 30s. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is a direct undisputable uh, thing that, that is against the law itself. So thus far, what we know, the Supreme Election Council has said this is absolutely against the uh, election uh, law. That's why the main reason is, is why they are doing a re-election. Surely now, that's again, something that could have been caught beforehand. Uh, unfortunately, th there, is, there, is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of criticism to that. But we have to realize the Turkish election the, uh, the Turkish election law, which I think is, is one of the greatest ones being practiced in the world, levies most of the burden on the parties itself. It actually, the, the law involves the parties to be a part of the election itself, except for a few areas. And this is one of them. The uh, election committee members, the election committee chairmen are not disclosed until the day of the election. So this is one of those points that the, 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 the parties attending the elections cannot watch it for, that they cannot uh, you know, do anything about or research about. So we have known, uh, the, the parties have known about this in the morning of the election rather than before. A lot of things are there uh, with, with, that are open to the parties that are, that are all, all encouraged to be part of the election process. This is one of them, mostly due to uh, you know, uh, reasons of security of the of these uh, members of, of the of the boxes or the chairmen, but this this time unfortunately it it, it backfired mm. the, that that we have seen a say, you know crack in the system so to speak. Sure, sure. Just quickly, Onur, the opposition uh, is seeing this decision by the YSK as politically motivated, um, the result of, of pressure from the AK Party. Tell us about how the YSK the the Election Council actually works. Um, you have to realize the, uh, the Supreme Election Council, YSK, at, at the base in, in Ankara, at, at the general headquarters, and in the cities, in, in the provincial uh, YSKs, they, are all, they all come from members of the highest ranking uh, courts, uh, judges in, in, in their respective regions. And same thing in the general headquarters of Ankara. The highest uh, you know, judges in Ankara are, are made, make up of the... Uh, the body of the uh, Supreme Council. And then 
there is a member in each in, in, in provincial, in city, in boroughs, and in, in the general headquarters, there is always a member of the political party who has been in the last race and that has gotten, you know, let's say more than I think it's 5% or 3% of the votes. So every major party, even every minor party that has a presence in Turkey uh, after a certain level has a direct representative within the Supreme Council. So everything is very transparent. All the, uh, all the this, uh, you know, meetings uh, that are even close to the public or close to the media are all attended by uh, representatives of each and every party in the parliament and then sometimes there are also members of the parties that are out of parliament due to the level of the uh, vote that they got in the last election so it's a very transparent uh, agency uh, nothing can be hidden because there is no one meeting even that is behind closed doors to the parties themselves mm. may not be, not not to the public necessarily but not the, the parties, they're always in there in the process. And they're all representative. Just very quickly uh, to finish, do you expect a different result when the election is held once more? Yeah, no. I don't expect a different result because I am one of those, just because of statistical numbers, just because of the way it came out, I do believe that uh, uh, Mr. Yildirim has won this race before, in, in, in 30, March 31st, by a margin of about, my guesstimate is between 60 to 100,000. Uh, that was not revealed due to uh, CHP's uh, decision or, 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 or the CHP's mandates that not to have a recount. So it's the decision is the, the result is not going to change. We're just going to validate what has really happened on March 31st, which probably will leave Mr. Yildirim with a with a, with a winning number of uh, more than 100,000 votes, possibly. Okay, okay. so you think uh, the Ankh Party's candidate, uh, Benali Yildirim, will take it after the rerun. Thank you very much for your time. That is political analyst and author, Honor Erem.